Welcome back to consecutive day 887 of a diary of a rumpreneur. Uh, please do give us a subscribe and a share as it's part of a fundraiser to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. And the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise. Um, all the information is in the link in the comments below. Thank you for your support as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 887 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And uh, yeah, it's been another crazy 24 hours in my crazy little world. And um, yesterday I, uh, I was negotiating a, a, management, a new management of the property business whilst doing a 10k run last night uh, at my, well, my son was football training. Um, I then went out with some of the football coaches and some of the the dads in the local village just for a few drinks a bit of a social and um and yeah it just dawned on me there's so much there's so many problems out there so many problems so many mental health related problems um that people struggle with and these are solid people that i've known a long time and everyone kind of really opened up it was really kind of inspiring i don't know if that's the right word um but it was inspiring to understand how people are now so much more willing to open and be share and share their feelings and emotions. Um, back in kind of uh, my, my father's generation, maybe it was very old school. A man is a man and has to be tough and strong. But you know, men hurt, and uh, and I know that there's really strong, tough women as well. But I think historically, men in particular were a lot less likely to talk and open up about mental health-related challenges. And everybody, there was about eight of us there. Everybody had battles and problems and scenarios in their life that they've experienced that were just incredibly incredibly tough and um we all talked and opened and shared and do you know what it was liberating for to be able to release that and i talked about this vlog and how it's like counseling for me obviously one way counseling i don't get a response back <laughs> other than comments from people who watch it but um but ultimately it unloads my mental baggage and um I found that something that I just don't think I'd be able to live without. Um, I'm just going to try and get across this road before a big bus comes along and runs me over. But anyway, um, so yeah, it was really, oh, I just ran through a muddy puddle. That was horrible. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was everybody, what I took from that is everybody has, has problems and it's, it's all relative to that, that individual and um, I certainly felt that sharing them openly with others and others reciprocating was a really really useful exercise and I know too many people who have been in too many dark times and they've taken the only way that they felt was the way out which was which ended up in suicide and it's just there, there are definitely definitely better ways and it all stems from lending a hand listening looking for those people who need a shoulder to cry on, who to share their views and emotions and and talk. 